I've used two thicknesses of Baltic birch plywood, three-quarter, half, three-quarter, half, and a half. The three-quarter has been bored out internally three-quarter inch diameter. The half inch is bored out five-sixteenths, creating a pocket and an airway for a little plunger valves that will slide back and forth. I've stacked these together using pieces of paper, approximately 120 degrees here, here, and here and there's just a little bit of glue on both sides of that paper just to hold this in alignment it's being clamped by the force of the live center on the lathe I just want to turn this to an even diameter and sand it smooth on the outside I have to do the same thing here turn this to half inch outside diameter and ultimately these will be the plungers that work back and forth in the pneumatic valve This one came apart pretty easy. Should just be able to bend on these and break them apart. You can see I used just a spot of glue in three places with three little pieces of paper. Put a spot of glue on those and joined them. And you can break these apart. This one, same thing, comes apart. After I drilled the pockets with the Farstner bit, I drilled a small hole in the center and strung these all together on a piece of piano wire. And pushed them together with the glue so that these would all be aligned. Then when I turn the outside diameter, it's concentric with the hole that was drilled. Rub that on a little sandpaper. Now this piece is a little bit too long that will be sanded down and it will have a leather face that will be popping up and down on a piece of wire that leather face will seal on that hole a few of these pieces have been modified I drilled an air hole into this chamber this piece has been drilled all the way through 5 16 with an air hole drilled into that chamber these plugs have been shortened to about three-eighths of an inch and they're covered with leather. 330 seconds piano wire. And I've ground a few notches in that piano wire for the epoxy to latch onto. This part will go in here. It comes through here. So that becomes a poppet valve that works against that face. This one will be installed on here and it works against this face. So it's opening one side and closing the other as it goes back and forth. This section was glued to the top and the holes drilled in there about a quarter of an inch deep. So this rod has some place to go. And this piece keeps that sealed so there's not an air leak there. When we put this in here, we need to make sure that both sides seal on the surface and when this side comes up, it's not yet touching the top of the three-quarter inch bore. This is made to be a gravity unit. Air pressure comes in here and differential pressure keeps the seal against this face. When this is pushed up, it releases this seal, lets air go into this chamber now this one's sealing the bottom and air will come out here and go to the motor. When you let go of this rod at the bottom, this will reseal and the air that's in this chamber here will exhaust out these ports. This piece is on there to keep this centered and to guide that rod on top and bottom.
when I get this put together, I'll go ahead and give this a couple of coats of shellac just to seal the wood. I installed quarter inch tubing on the input and the output side of the valve. I used a little CA to keep that in there. You have to be careful when you do that so you don't get any CA on that valve on the inside or you can take this whole thing and throw it away. I gave it two coats of shellac and again you have to be careful not to get any up on this valve stem. Using the busker air supply I have compressed air coming into the top of this valve. Differential pressure is holding that valve sealed. When I lift up on this, it releases that valve, closes the valve on the bottom, and delivers air to the motor. Putting a block of wood on top of the motor for a little weight so it closes. When I push on this valve, it opens the motor. Or I can tap it on top of the table. Thank you for watching. If you haven't watched one of these before, please do so. It will help support this channel. I appreciate it.